everybody, Lance Russell along with Dave Brown and Corey Macklin. And we've got ourselves lined up a great USWA Championship Wrestling Show. We opened up with one of the most controversial wrestlers in all of wrestling, talking about Goldust, and we're going to be singing more about him as the show goes along today. All right. Dave. We also have a super card right here in the ring today. We're going to open with the USWA Tag Champions. Ooh. Bart Sawyer, Flex Cabana will be going against the huge Punisher, and Tony Falk will be his partner. We all know the problems Falk has been able to cause here in the last few weeks. We'll have a talk with Miss Texas, recap that uh, situation, that crazy situation that took place uh, last week uh, with a double unmasking, the mandatory double unmasking with Bill Dundee right here. and Wolfie D right here. Uh, TV title is going to be on the line when Brickhouse Brown will be going against yes. Wolfie D. Ought to be a great match. Mm. I'll look back at Jeff Jarrett. He kind of went nuts last week with that uh, belt. We'll see the unified world champion in action here today, too. And our TV main event this week, Brian and Doug. Brian Christopher, Doug Gilbert going against Bill Dundee and Ashley Hudson. It sounds like a full day of wrestling right here. Well, I'll tell you one other thing, too, that we've got. We've got the kicking off of one of the great new eras of wrestling throughout the Memphis area. We're talking about the move to the Big One Expo Center, and it comes up on Monday night. It's at I-40 and I-240, that is to say, in Hollywood. And there gives you an idea of what the map looks like. You just hop up on 240 as you're coming in. Go on the northbound section till you come to the Hollywood exit and right down at the bottom of the ramp. You've got it. The big one, the Expo Center. We'll have the entire card, all of that for you coming up. But right now, let's get ready. Great show. We'll be seeing the USWA Tag Champs in just a moment. One station covers more news in the Mid-South than anyone else. We put more reporters on the streets, cover more miles with more crews, conduct more special investigations, bring you more live reports, and consistently put more news into each minute than any other Memphis television station. That's coverage you can count on every day. Only on Action News 5. Looking for a neat way to organize your TV, VCR, and stereo components? Oak Express has a tremendous selection of Oak Entertainment Centers, in stock and ready to take home today. The Mead with lots of storage space is an unbelievable $159. The West Point with leaded glass door is just $299. Add an Oak TV swivel anywhere in your home for just $13.50. Oak Express, 4207 American Way between Getwell and Perkins, and 5248 Summer Avenue. With rebates up to $1,500, financing as low as 3.9%, and total combined savings as high as $8,000. The race to 500 shifts into high gear this weekend at both Watney Chevrolet locations. New S10s, a Consumer Digest Best Buy, are the smart buy at just $129 a month. New Best Buy Luminous with dual airbags, air, automatic tilt, stereo, and more. Best Buy priced at just $189 a month. Best Buy, best payments during the race to 500. This weekend at Watney Chevrolet on Covington Pike and Watney 2, Airways and Winchester at the airport. Don't gamble with your car insurance. Make the sure bet on a winning hand from the hometown boys at Bill Blake. They're dealing straight with savings up to 50% on your car insurance. For low monthly payments on your car insurance, call Bill Blake at 948-5551 or 346-5551. They'll work with you. USWA Wrestling goes Hollywood. The history, the heritage, the tradition of Memphis wrestling. All the exciting action you've seen for over 40 years is now moving to a new location. The atmosphere of wrestling the way it used to be. See the superstars up close and personal, plus lower ticket prices, lower parking prices, and a food court for the entire family. Now at the big one, conveniently located on exit 5, the Hollywood exit I-240. Fireworks start early Monday, July 1st at the big one. Ready for action. One for all. A 10-minute time limit for this bout here on USWA Action. First introducing, coming in at a combined weight of 532 pounds from the underworld, here is the Punisher. And his partner, wrestling from Dallas, Texas, Schubert Tony Fall. Their opponents today, they are the USWA Tag Team Champions. 
coming in at a combined weight of 491 pounds from Portland, Oregon, Bart Sawyer. And his partner from the islands of Hawaii, here is Flex Cabana. And Bruno is our referee. One fall at 10 minute time limit and uh, titles are not at stake in this bout. Over to Lance Russell and Dave Brown. Welcome back, Dave. Thanks, Corey. Bell time, and we're off and running with Lex Gavano starting out against the Punisher. That's a pretty good matchup physically in there because Gavano's a big one, and Punisher is even bigger, as a matter of fact. One of the things that I was thinking about this tag team, Dave, is the fact that every match that they have, they're going to do nothing but get better. They are young, and they are going to be learning all the way, and they've got a lot of potential, certainly. Uh, okay, Frank Morell out here brings uh, Patricia out, his secretary, to Double J. The boss wants her to take note, I guess. This is indeed a team. Flex Cavana. Oh, good move right there. Keeps Tony Falk rolling. Picks him up, twists that left arm, puts a little pressure on it, back to the corner, and the tag on Bart Sawyer. Bart, yeah, he can fly, he comes off the top rope. The finesse is mostly on the side of Flex Cabana and Bart Sawyer. Now, the Punisher uses just raw power. Tony Falk tries to use the same thing. The Punisher is one of those guys that when he hits you with a forearm, it's like you've been hit with a telephone pole. He's big, he's tough. Art Sawyer, working on Tony Falk, coming over his back, drops down with that left arm, and then right back to work on it as he puts a bar on the left arm. Tony Falk unable to get anything going. He's just tied up by the incredible speed shown by Bart Sawyer. Bart Sawyer is one of those solid athletes, and every move that he makes, you can tell he's got that athletic ability. Nice reversal on Falk. He goes up, he flips. Him over and down. Bart Sawyer right back in position. He took advantage with a right hand in there as referee. Oh, that time he went for a monkey flip, a repeat back to the well, and it did not work as Tony Falk held on and bounced him down on the mat. Now he has him back over to the corner and turns him over to the big guy in the corner. Bartman under attack from the Punisher, who was reversed into the ropes. And look at that, Dave, for a guy that big. Catching his feet as he came off of that full flip. Impressive move. The Punisher was going to find himself in trouble flat on his back, but he caught himself on his feet. A very athletic move, and I'm going to have to take back something I said earlier. Looks like there's some athletic ability for the Punisher, too, even though he is such a huge... He can really move. Boy, he drops down with that leg. Here's a cover. One, two. Bart Sawyer able to kick out of it at the two count, but was in danger of being pinned in this non-title match here today. Tony Fall takes over once again from the Punisher. Moves Sawyer into the ropes. Catches him with a clothesline coming off. And now has time for a big word to flex the band. Better watch his mouth. Boy, he rocked him, too, with that clothesline. That yes, head he snapped back, and he hit the mat hard. They're going to try to take advantage of it. Back over near their corner, Tony Falk keeps him close. Drops down, but Sawyer moves out of the way. Good move by Sawyer. Tony Falk missing the shot as he had an opportunity to keep it going and missed it. And look at Sawyer back up between the legs. Tags Flex Cabana. The big Hawaiian comes over the top rope and goes in. Nails Falk, then the Punisher. And he's alternating between them back and forth as uh, Bart Sawyer comes in. And here we go over the top rope. As he caught him with a clothesline, the referee signifies that it was not an intentional over the top. A double one right here as they're going to take him with a suplex. But Sawyer ordering, uh, arguing with referee downtown Bruno has moved back over to the corner as Flex Gavana being held by Tony Falk. Punisher top rope. Sails in and nails. Falk puts him down. Flex gets a one, two, three, two, done. Great teamwork showing up as Bart Sawyer kept the Punisher from getting back over there. And Flex Cabana able to hold Tony Falk there for the three count. Cabana, Sawyer, the tag team champions with another victory here today.
That was kind of a surprising effort uh, by Falk and Punisher as they really did an excellent job uh, together in there. And uh, really it went back to the point where Sawyer was able to get out of the way and Falk missed it and dropped down and from then it seemed to change and that was it. We've got uh, an opportunity now to talk to Pound for Pound. I think one of the toughest people around at wrestling. We're talking about the lovely Miss Texas as she comes out. Kind of an unusual thing coming up in her future here. Understand, Miss Texas, you got a mystery opponent coming up. Yeah, you know, Lance, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care who it is. Just bring them on. You got wrestlers, they come and they go. And everybody that step in the ring against me, I beat. So it doesn't matter to me. Just bring them on. You don't care what their name is or what they're wearing, just so they get in there and get at it and go with a match that you're looking for. Well, of course, here comes Tony Falk. Yeah, what? Let me tell you, that referee just gave me a fast count. My boss is not happy. He's mad at that referee, and he's probably mad at the punisher for hitting me. But I'm mad at you, Miss Texas. Let me tell you something. You treated this man wrong, and you're not as bad as you think you are. He's got something to say, and I know you're going to try to jump on him. That's why I'm here. I'm here to protect him. Well, this is Farron who uh, interfered in a match a couple of weeks back and jumped Miss Texas out here on the floor. You tell them what you Mr. Russell, Miss Texas, for the past week I've been going around to matches around the area. I've been on the phone, and I guarantee I will find someone, whoever they may be, to take care of you and to get rid of you and get you out of the USWA. Well, you better get somebody who's ready to get in there and wrestle, because this guy can go. Like I said, bring them on. And you stick your nose in my business, I'm going to knock it off. There it is, Miss Texas. We'll take a break and be back in just a moment. Yeah, I know. I hear what you're saying. Welcome to CNW Auto Sales and Salvage. We specialize in the lowest price and the best service on all glass and column repair. Motors, rotors, starters, radiators, front caps, all at the best price. I'm Easy Money. I'm jamming Joel. Without a question. We're your Pars Connection. Let, Let us hook, hook you up. up. Hi, I'm Wanda Cat, owner of CNW Auto Sales and Salvage, and I'll pay you cash for your old junk car. We crush the competition! No! Hi, folks. Bob Burkheimer from Sunrise Pontiac GMC Truck. It's Sunrise's seventh anniversary, and we're celebrating with the biggest sales event in our history. Over 700 new Pontiacs and GMC trucks to choose from, with savings up to six to seven thousand dollars. Over two million dollars in used cars, with a lot specializing in cars and trucks under twenty-nine ninety-five. Immediate financing and on-the-spot delivery with approved credit. Free hot dogs, cokes, and balloons for the kids. Want to save some money? Get into the anniversary sale going on now at Sunrise, Tennessee's number one volume Pontiac and GMC dealer for seven years running, Covington Pike, Memphis. When you pick out new glasses, that's a big decision. But I can make sure you end up happy. You look great. Customers are very comfortable knowing that they have a guarantee at Lens Crafters. I, I wanted to bring these back. If you end up having second thoughts about your new glasses, you can always come back. No problem. I can replace them or I can refund your money. At Lens Crafters, no hassles. We'll do whatever it takes to make you happy. Oh, they look great. It's not just a guarantee, it's a promise. Lens Crafters, helping people see better, one hour at a time. Only Fireworks City has the main event rocket assortment, a $25 value for only $7.50. That's a 70% discount. For real fireworks savings, follow me to Fireworks City. Magic on the Mississippi, the WMC station Star Spangled Celebration. Wednesday, July 3rd at Tom Lee Park. Music on the main stage by Java, Natchez, and the Icebreakers. The biggest fireworks on the Mississippi River. Brought to you by Piggly Wiggly, Miller Beer, and in part by Fleming Fine Furniture. We cannot show. We are oh, we uh, ready, yeah, for um, USW action on tour. Lancer coming up Monday night. USWA goes Hollywood. Boy, we're ready for it. Monday night wrestling goes Hollywood. The Big One Expo Center is at Interstate 240 in Hollywood. 7:30 is bell time. There uh, again is a uh, copy of the map. That very simple. If you're on Interstate 240, you just exit uh, there at exit number five, the Hollywood exit. And as uh, soon as you exit, boy, it is right there. 
big building, the big one. That's the northbound section of 240 because there's a little confusion to some of yeah, the people the from out of town. There. Yeah, it's on that northbound section. Yeah. And it's lower admission prices, lower parking prices, and I can tell you one thing. They've got in mind fun when you come out mm -hmm. there, and it's going to be happening Monday the 1st, the opening of the doors of a big new era, but that's not all. You meet the wrestlers at the food court and uh, watch TV5 Wrestling that begins at 6 p.m. Also, uh, the nunneries, they're going to have some great music down there as entertainment for the fans, all coming up in there. The big one, Wednesday night, July the 3rd, Lady Buck Casino Pavilion, West Helena, Arkansas, 8 o'clock is bell time, it is revenge night there at the Lady Luck, the King, Jerry Lawler on the card, Bill Superstar Dundee, Double J, Jeff Jarrett, Too Sexy Brian Christopher, Whoopie D, Miss Texas, Mark Sawyer, Flesh, Kavana, the USWA Tag Team Champions, all right there. Lady Luck Casino Pavilion coming up Wednesday night, July the 3rd. Lady Luck Casino on Wednesday night. Boy, fireworks will start early just the night before right there at the Lady Luck Casino Pavilion. And Friday night, July the 12th, Jonesboro, Arkansas. Now pay attention to this. The action will get underway at 8 o'clock at the Sports Arena on Highway 1 in Jonesboro. Jerry the King Lawler, Double J, Jeff Jarrett, Brian Christopher, Bill Dundee, Wolfie D, Doug Gilbert, Miss Texas, Colorado Kid, plenty of them coming to Jonesboro Friday, Feb uh, July the 12th, 8 o'clock at the Sports Arena on Highway 1. Boy, a new home for the USWA there, yes. Jonesboro Sports Arena. Looking forward to that. Wednesday, July 17th, we're back in Tunica, Mississippi. Sheraton Casino at Casino Center, 7.30 bell time. Super spectacular car there at the Sheraton. And on Friday, July the 19th, Bolivar, Tennessee, right there at the high school gym. The action will get underway. Also, I guess we'll uh, inform everyone right now, Lance, that uh, coming up at the big one a week from Monday, that's Monday, July the 8th, WWF Intercontinental Champion Ahmed Johnson has been signed for action at the big one, Expo Center, Ahmed Johnson. He will be in here, and uh, we'll be having him on that card on Monday, July the 8th. And that, my friend, is just simply one of the bouts that will be taking, I mean, one of the great attractions that will be coming to the big one, the Expo Center. And the, Corey. Well, here's another attraction. That's I can't right. say that it's great. Though. You talk about big attractions. Tomorrow, the King's Army, the King's undefeated softball team is going to be in Lexington, Tennessee. The <laughs> Apparently, yeah. apparently, parole came early for all these hicks from Lexington. Oh, come on, Scott. That's, there's, there's, there's the team we're playing, I guess, right there. Can you get a shot of them? <laughs> Doug Gilbert, <laughs> there they are in the blue, blue uniform. So now you guys are playing t-ball. Right? You know, originally, I thought, I thought Doug Gilbert had assembled all his beer-drinking buddies. They were going to have a keg of slits down there, getting drunk and playing softball. And actually, Jerry, I scouted this team out for you last week. And let me tell you, I, I watched them play, and I've seen better swings on a playground. I promise you. These guys, he's got a little, he's got a little, uh, they don't even play softball out there. They got a little t-ball team. They tee the ball up down there. They get down real low, and they batter up, and they concentrate real hard, and then they rear back. Whoa. <laughs> Those little softball buddies, and we got a big surprise waiting on you tomorrow. Uh oh, oh, Scott. And look like a T-baller to me right there. We don't like surprises. <laughs> Let me just say this. Doug Gilbert has supposedly assembled a group of ringers from all over West Tennessee. He's flying them in. He's chauffeuring them in, driving them in. Will you have them there, dangerous, Doug? Because tomorrow at 1 o'clock, Lexington, Tennessee, we're going to be up there, and we're going to give all of those hot stuff hitters the beating of their life. I promise you that. Tomorrow in Lexington, Tennessee. Hey, Monday night, the Big One Expo Center. Big action at the Big One, including these guys, the Moon Dogs. Take a look. That young guy, I tell you, they catch Sasser with that chair. These guys, I tell you, it's bad for them to come out here. Oh, oh. Why don't you get them out of here? I'm telling you. Out of here. Frank Morell is trying. Uh, there they go with a desk, carrying the desk up hey, and picking up. They knocked TD down, did they? Yeah, yeah, they knocked oh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. The Moon Dogs continue to run wild. Richard Lee with a folding metal chair himself, collecting the World Championship belt. Oh. 
Oh, my goodness. What? What? He has tough to control, except by Richard Lee. He's the only one that can call what him off. That, well, what is they doing? That's the Moon Dogs, and they're going to be here Monday night at the Big Hey, one. let me tell you one thing, House Boy. You got it's a conspiracy right. against us Wait, right now. We're the House tag team contenders, number one, and y'all trying to stop us right now. Well, I'm going to tell you something, Moon Dogs. Oh, man, I'm going to tell you something right now. Moon Dogs going to be in a world of trouble. We might be in a world of trouble, Reggie yeah, B. Right. We ain't been preparing for the Moon Dogs. We've been thinking about Fox why, and Bart. Why they, oh. put up, why they put up with the Moon Dogs? What is a conspiracy? Well, you guys they, will have the Moon Dogs look. down there Monday night at the Big One Expo Center. We're going to take hey, a break. We've got more action hey, coming up right here. As USW action continues, let's go. We'll be back. It's back. It's back. Color of the Weather returns to McDonald's. On TV5. Hey, kids. Pick up your Color of the Weather points on participating McDonald's. Draw a picture of your favorite weather. Black snowflakes or sunshine. And drop off your drawings at McDonald's. Daily winners thrown at random will see their art live on Action News AM on TV5. And receive prizes. Plus, there's more. They'll be eligible for a monthly grand prize draw. So get ready to Color the Weather. Color the Weather. With WMC TV5 and McDonald's today. At Mid-South Furniture Outlet in Olive Branch, you always save on top quality furniture. See this beautiful cherry dining room set, the table, four chairs, two armchairs, the hutch and the buffet, only $16.99. Two-piece sectionals, just $8.99. This beautiful five-piece bedroom set is only $11.90. And the sofa and love seat, just $8.49. And all pictures and lamps are 10 to 50% off. Come see us for hundreds of dollars worth of savings at Mid-South Furniture Outlet in Olive Branch. Dennis Hall's Auto Salvage, home of a million parts. Call or come by 3100 Gill Road and see Dennis Hall's large inventory of both domestic and foreign parts. Bumper-to-bumper -bumper body parts used in rebuilt engines and transmissions. They also specialize in both new and used glass replacement for all makes and models of cars and trucks. For steering column and theft repair, Dennis Hall's guarantees the lowest prices in Memphis. Hi, I'm Dennis Hall. For the best prices in town, come on down. Mud presents three spa treatment masks. Sea, aloe, and original. Mud lifts out oils and removes old skin so your skin can breathe. Pamper yourself with mud. Up to 90% of women get PMS. Creams and PMS relieves irritability, bloating, headaches, cramps. Get relief for the period before your period. Creams and PMS. So how are your dentures? Are they still hurting? No. Nope. Benzodent stopped the pain. Benzodent stays on sore spots, relieves pain for hours. Dentist recommended Benzodent. Kia could give a Toyota a run for its money, we conducted a little car chase, Hollywood style, for a grueling 100,000 miles. With a more powerful engine, we tailed that Corolla from heaven to hell to hellish. Yep, we went everywhere that Toyota went, but priced about 3,000 less, there's one place we didn't go. Over budget. Lease a new Sophia RS for $149 a month and get up to $800 cash back on a GS model. This is Jerry the King Lawler. Only Fireworks City has the main event rocket assortment. A $25 value for only $7.50. That's a 70% discount. For fireworks that are really out of this world, follow me to Fireworks City. Oh, no. I really hate this part. There are three Fireworks City locations in West Memphis. Go across either bridge. Also, Cotton Cabin at I-40 and Canada Road. Or get well in State Line Road. The biggest selection and the lowest prices are at Fireworks City. The new bird in town, Sky 5, only on WMC TV 5. TV title match coming up oh, with Burkhouse Brown defending against Wolfie D in a moment. Listen, yeah. we had something last uh, week, a really unusual situation that took place in here, a double unmasking. Now, it all started when Jerry Lawler was out here and said, Hey, Cyberpunk Fire, I got a big surprise for you. Take a look. Let's go back and recap Then not only have you made me mad, Wolfie, you've made a lot of people mad. When you, when you cheated and got a victory over my partner, Bill Dundee, and he, he was an honorable man, he left the area. It was a loser leave town contract, he left. 
He's not like you. Snake in the grass, come back. Not a man of his word. Liar, that's all you are. Okay, we're gonna bring him out here right now if you want to. This is just a good friend of Bill Dundee's, and he is sick of what you've done to him. And he, yeah, yeah, come here. American Eagle. American Eagle, come on. No, man. Hey, come on, nothing, brother. Look at that. That's me right there. And who are you but Wolfie D? And if it wasn't for that long drink of water, you'd be gone because the king beat you. And you don't get mad at me because I can beat you. Oh, this man, I beat you. You can't beat anybody, Wolfie. I beat you and I beat you. You you guys this You can't beat me. You can't beat me. You can't beat me. You can't beat me. You can't You can't beat me. 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 You You can't beat me. 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 I'll push every one of you. You keep your mouth shut, you, you Lawler, and you. I'm, I am sick and tired of every week. You and you and everybody else in it. Thank you. I've disavowed you. You shut up, Dundee, and you do, Lawler. And I want you to shut the hell up. That's Dundee. I'm telling you, shut up. I'm telling you right now. I'm tired of okay, all the tricks. Hey, hey oh, will you oh, shut up right now? I'm telling you right now to shut up. Uh, I'm tired of the tricks. I'm tired of this. Tricks? This has been going on since September. It's been going on for a long time. When you pulled a knife on the guy, oh, and I fired you. And I fired him now. For the the I'm tired. Then he, he and a loser leaves him. Then he came back. Then you. I'm sick of the whole thing. Bill Dundee. Bill Dundee. American Eagle. Bill Dundee. I'm telling you. And Wolfie D. I'm telling you. I'm yeah, telling you, yeah. I'm yeah, telling you both it. of you, I'm not going to put up with this any longer. I want both of you to, you Dundee and you Wolfie, I want you Wolfie. to take the mask off yes, and then first. I'll Why change the card. Tell go him for shut up. I'll change the card. I'll change the card coming up. And you two guys want to come out after each other, dressing room incidents in Louisville. I'm sick well, of it. You so you can, you can take the mask off, off if you can, and then I'll for the match. I'll tell the referee not to even be in the ring or close to the ring, and then I don't care if you kill each other. I don't care. Sell it man to man. Take the mask off now, Dundee. Why and you I'm telling, telling you that's the order. You're telling us he takes the mask off. And then he gets a match with this idiot with no referee that's in or no said. referee. That's exactly just what just I him said. and him that's to finish this. He's going to kill you. I'm he is going to kill you, punk. I don't want both of you wasting too much right time. Now. <laughs> And the minute the masks come off, they're at it again. They have been fighting like this forever. Lawler out there trying to separate it. Wolfie coming back right down on Dundee. As he runs him out. Whoa, right out of the studio. Give me some help. That's out into the production preparation area right outside of the studio. We're sure not going to go out and get in the middle of that, but the camera is. Oh, I told you, Dave, it, it was wild when it happened. Okay, let's go right now up to the ring and Corey Macklin. Corey. All right, Lancer, we're ready for it. our USWA television title. It's on the line, TV title match. First introducing 233 pounds, wrestling out of Miami, Florida. He is a USWA television champion. Here is Brickhouse Brown. Brickhouse Brown. And in his corner, Reggie B. Fine. The Brotherhood. His opponent today on USWA Wrestling wrestles from the hood. 207 pounds, Sir Wolfie D. Wolfie. USWA.
USWA television titles at stake. Downtown Bruno he is our referee. This is going to be a dandy, guys. You better believe, Dandy, I'm talking about a champion in there, Brickhouse Brown. We don't always see eye to eye, but this guy can go. I mean, he can flat get down and wrestle. He's got the uh, TV titles. And the young guy that is with him as an opponent, we're talking about Wolfie D. No more cyberpunk, Dave. turns him over and puts Wolfie D down the middle of the ring. Down to one, two. You got to jump up. Left shoulder up jump first and Brickhouse staying right on top. He'd like to get this over in a hurry, Dave. <laughs> Wolfie makes a cover, count of one, count of two. And he kicks his way out. Referee signaling only a two count. And Brickhouse reaches up, stops it all cold with a rake across the eyes. What is this rake? King Paul told me to give you this. What? What is that? I don't know. It's brought a car Makes about as much sense. Yeah. Better hang on to it. He's going to have to be holding all the cards if uh, Brickhouse is going to defend here today, I think. Rickhouse with Wolfie D, neck right over that rope, that center rope, and he bears down on it. Wolfie D, oh, Reggie B. Fine interfering from outside. Man, that's what you hate to see. Rickhouse Brown back in the corner, nodding to the referee. Yes, I understand yeah. your instructions. Yeah, Reggie interfered. He sure did. Brickhouse follows right up behind it, too. Yeah, Reggie making the excuses. Oh, he wasn't anywhere near it. He was down oh, the corner. Well, he is the champion. Yeah. Title's on the line now. Reverse neck breaker, Wolfie D snapped down to the mat. Brickhouse Brown goes for a cover. Down is one, two. Reggie was confident it was over, but Wolfie D kicks out of it. I think that uh, Brickhouse was a little too confident himself as he yeah. uh, was a little casual about he's going against a guy that just won't give it up. Look at here, sailing and moving out of the way is Wolfie D, and as he comes to his feet, Brickhouse gets nailed with a left, caught with a good right hand, and they've just taken it right down to Slug City. There's the cross scoop slam. Wolfie goes over, climbs that ladder, right straight up on that top rope. And look at him fly off kind of one. Oh, he comes after Reggie, who is coming to the ring apron, Dave. Reggie was too close. Wolfie D remembers from earlier, pulls the right fist back. Ah, oh, Reggie has just tossed a chain to Brickhouse Brown. The referee sees it. He blocks him. Wolfie D hits Reggie B. Fine. What happened to the chain? Oh, it's just lying it's down in the, the middle of the ring, yeah. As uh, Brickhouse had that chain wrapped and cocked, and referee downtown Bruno stopped it. Here's the backslide. One, two, three. He got it. We had a new TV champion, Wolfie D. Back in the ring for the first time as his PG-13 person. And he comes up with the TV title on a backslide and a one, two, three. And a brand new TV champion here today. Wolfie D's got to be feeling good about the whole situation. Brickhouse Brown not feeling very good. He's talking to uh, the referee. They, they were telling the referee that Wolfie brought the chain in, but the referee's gone. Here comes Wolfie D. Maybe a couple of words from the new TV champion. Yes, sir. And the Wolf fan came in and did it. Took that TV. What a way for Wolfie D to make a comeback. Look at the new television champion, huh? I love these people. You know what? It's real good to be the television champion. It feels real good because this is the first singles title that Wolfie D's ever had. But you know what, Lance? There's something else on my mind right now, and that's Bill Dundee. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know what, Bill Dundee? See, fire was a different person. 
See, this right here is what I do best. You know, doing this stuff right here and wearing these boxer shorts, maybe even pulling them down and showing you that. Hey, Whoa. this is what I do best, Bill Dundee. I just want you to be aware of one thing. The Nikes are back, the hubcaps back, the boxers are back, and the baggy pants are back. And Wolfie D himself is back, Bill Dundee. So I hope that you're ready. Oh. Your last chance. The final week of Fleming Pond Furniture's 50th anniversary celebration. We've got the largest selection and the biggest savings in the whole Mid-South. Plus, this final week, we're giving away $2,000 of free furniture every weekday. And Saturday, someone will drive away in this brand new Coming in Pike Toyota Camry. It's your last chance. Big storewide savings, special terms, free furniture daily, and win a free car. It's the grand finale of Fleming Pond Furniture's 50th anniversary. Don't miss it. This is the big one. We're building a lot of great things here in Memphis, like the reputation for service and value from the hometown boys at Bill Blake. You can save up to 50% on your car insurance. At Bill Blake, you get instant SR22 filing with low monthly payments. Solve your car insurance problems and save money. Call Bill Blake at 948-5551 or 346-5551. They'll work with you. Fred, how many people live on this planet? I don't know. Why? Because I think half of them are across the street at the Ford dealer. That's because your local Ford dealer is having their Great American Ford Sales Event. And that's where you'll find over $2,200 in savings on the number one selling 96 Ford F-150. And check out the all-new 97 F-150. Ow. And deals like 4A financing or 600 cash back on Ford Ranger has the competition pretty worried. It's the Great American Ford Sales Event at your local Ford dealer. Okay, we want to take the opportunity to clear up uh, anybody out there who has asked us about tickets to Studio Wrestling Day. Absolutely. The tickets are free, but you must write for them, and you must include a self-addressed stamped envelope. Here is the address, the only address. Had numerous ticket requests this week that did not have Studio Wrestling tickets written there. They were either sent to me or just to the TV station in general. That's okay. We'll get them to the right place, but it's going to slow them down several days while we channel them to the right place. Here's the address. Studio Wrestling Tickets. WMC-TV, 1960 Union Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee. Our zip code is 38104. Don't forget that self-addressed stamped envelope. The tickets will be put in that envelope and sent right back to you. Join us here. We'd love to have you. Also, don't forget, next week, we're on at a special time, and I think this is the last time, uh, due to Wimbledon and, and several other things that have been going on this summer, Olympics coming up, too. Uh, we're on at midnight next yes. week. But if you have tickets for next week's show, if you're going to be joining us, we will be doing that at the regular time, 10 o'clock next Saturday morning. But the show will air one time only, and that's at midnight next Saturday. And as Dave said, if you've got the tickets, follow the time to be here to the studio uh, for the taping that will be played back at midnight. Okay, coming up Monday night, we've told you, we're going to Hollywood. We're talking about the Hollywood exit right off of the 240 North uh, section. Get off of exit 5 there at Hollywood and right down to the bottom. You're at the big one. Lower admission, lower parking, and just great fun to be had with all. And a special big one is going to be taking place out at the big one as we open it up. Fourth of July coming up, and there will be a large firework giveaway that will be in connection with the uh, opening night. 
There's a whole uh, group right there. That's uh, part of the collection that's going to be given away Monday night at the Big One Expo Center. And matches? You better believe we got matches. Miss Texas going to be going against a mystery opponent. Had a little bit of conversation about that earlier, and uh, Farron says he's going to find somebody who will uh, cause problems for Miss Texas. Miss Texas says doesn't care who shows up, she'll wrestle them. There will be a special challenge match when the dirty white boy comes back in as... Uh well, we've got uh, Reggie B. Fine and the Moondogs scheduled uh, right there. Uh, yeah, there we are, Moondogs. And uh, Brickhouse Brown and Reggie B. Fine will be the tag. You know what kind of a battle that's going to be. That's going to be a tag team title contender match. Whoever wins it gets in line for the USWA tag team titles. Then that special challenge match you were talking about. Been a long time since we've seen Tony Anthony in here, but the dirty white boy will be in, and he will be going against the Birdman, Coco Beware. And what a USWA tag title will match will be going here. We've got the king, Jerry Lawler, Superstar Bill Dundee said by many to be the greatest tag team ever to be in this area. They will be challenging the new champions, Flex Cavana and Bart Sawyer for the tag title. Batten down the hatches because you got a moon dog battle royal coming up. Boy, when these things happen, there is action all over the place. Get ready. The ring's going to be filled up with chairs, boards, trash cans. Look out. Moon dog battle royal Monday night. And it's going to be sort of the baptism by fire, I guess, of the Big One Expo Center there. Mm -mm -mm. You can see another one, too, that'll be following that. We're talking about the meeting of Bill Dundee and Wolfie D. If Dundee didn't fix his leg where he won't be able to be there, but you can better believe if there's a breath in his body, he'll be there because Dundee and Wolfie D will be in the ring with no referee on non-sanctioned match, and that is going to be a killer. And we've already given you matches that would be main event on most cards you will find anywhere around the world, but here, are you ready for gold dust? That's right. From the WWF, Goldust will be joining Jeff Jarrett in a grudge tag team main event against Too Sexy Brian Christopher and Dangerous Doug Gilbert. That's coming up Monday night, the main event at the Big One Expo Center. Make your plans to be out there at 6 o'clock when the doors open up. The food court, which gives you all the delicious choices, will be open and available, and you will be able to watch a TV uh, replay of this television show right out there. Additionally, the Nunnery Brothers Band will be there, and they'll be providing music. What fun! Here comes the king, and here's Dave. And Scott Bowden back again. That's exactly right, Dave. Lawler and Dundee together again against the world tag team champions. What are their names? Bart Simpson and Copacabana? I tell you what you're going to be calling them. Flex after Cabana. This. Whatever. Who cares? You're going to be calling them ex-champions after this week. You talk about dominant teams in the history of pro sports. The Chicago Bulls don't have anything on Lawler and Dundee, and they're going to be champions again after this week. I can promise you that. No doubt about it. They're a strong team. Bill Dundee, we're still upset with you over that situation a moment ago out here. A moment ago, if we're not into that right now, I'll kill him before this is over. You may not. King, this is the first time that me and you is going to wrestle somebody that's shorter than me. <laughs> Bart Sawyer. Hey, boy. That ain't often I get to get in that ring and punch down on somebody. I'm used to punch him up. You know, Bill, everybody's got to look up to somebody, but Bart Sawyer has to look up to everybody. <laughs> well, hey, you Bart Sawyer, if you were any shorter, you could date Barbie. <laughs> And you, Flex Cabana, yeah, you're six feet tall. Well, you're the one we're taking out. And you're going to be looking up when the king and the superstar crawls on top. One, two, three. And we're the champions once again. Tell him, King. Hey, you know what kind of, you know what Bart Sawyer's favorite dessert is, don't you? Shortcake. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. You, the only reason you are holding those tag team titles right now is because of that jerk Wolfie D, right? And he's going to pay the price for that Monday night. And then... The superstar and the king are going to once again be the U the USWA tag team champions. Like we, how many times have we been the tag team champions, Bill? Yes, whenever we want to be. That's exactly right. And we want to be again this week, Monday night, the first time ever at the big one. And once again, that we're not talking about Lance's nose. We're talking about the new, the new site of USWA wrestling on Monday nights. I can't wait. It's going to be super. Got, this guy, how short is he really? Does he get lost running through shag carpeting or what? Tell me. Well, I hope you don't get lost Monday night. I hope you find that new building off Hollywood because we're taking you at punk shortcake. <laughs>
Well, he'll find it. I tell you what, you guys out here laughing, making jokes and all that. I bet you Flex Cavana and Bart Sawyer are taking everything very seriously. We'll find out you're tough. There's no doubt about that. Hey, let me say one other thing. If they do prove to be just a little bit tough, you've seen me flying around on this Fireworks City rocket. Well, there may be some real fireworks down there for those boys Monday night. Monday night, the Big One Expo Center. We'll be back in just a moment. Watch your eyes go wide, and then smile from inside. What a time to be with each other. It's a magical place when your heart starts to race. Just hang on tight to each other, cause you, you're gonna see the greatest show on earth. Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey. After 125 years, there's still no better way to spend time with your family. And now the greatest place to be a child is headed your way. Coming to the Pyramid, July 5th through 7th. Buy tickets at the box office, Ticketmaster, or charge by phone. Welcome to C&W Auto Sales and Salvage. We specialize in the lowest price and the best service on all glass and column repair. Motors, rotors, starters, radiators, front caps, all at the best price. I'm Easy Money. I'm Jamming Joel. Without a question. We're your Paws Connection. Let, Let us hook, hook you up. up. Hi, I'm Wanda Cat, owner of C&W Auto Sales and Salvage, and I'll pay you cash for your old junk car. We crush the competition! This is Jerry the King Lawler. Only Fireworks City has the main event rocket assortment. A $25 value for only $7.50. That's a 70% discount. For fireworks that are really out of this world, follow me to Fireworks City. Oh no, I really hate this part. There are three Fireworks City locations in West Memphis. Go across either bridge or north on Austin P. Germantown extended to Olive Branch. The biggest selection and the lowest prices are at Fireworks City. Your credit is welcome at Central. Don't let credit problems stop you from taking advantage of Central's new, easy-to-own plan. We want to set you up today with a new washer, appliance, or furniture that you deserve. If you're tired of the runaround and you want to be treated like you're number one, then call Central. We've been serving Memphis for over 40 years and still guarantee satisfaction and price. Central's best price celebration with 20-inch TVs, only $36.95 per month. Call now. Boy, I'll tell you, while you were going last week, Jeff Jarrett had himself a time in here. You've seen him with these belts and how oh, yeah. they've been whipping on people. He really got loose last week with Tony and Frank and all of it. Let's take a look back and give you an idea what happened. Up today's show, Frank Morrell holding on. Downtown Bruno comes over, kicks the hands loose, oh, and Morrell interferes. That's going to be it. It'll be a disqualification. And Frank Morrell takes a swing oh, of right hand Frank. shot. Morrell putting his two cents in it. Oh! He yeah. nails Jared. He'll hear from the boss about that. Tony Falk comes in, takes the legs right out from under Gilbert. Jared steps over, figure four, a leg lock. Uh-oh. Morrell and Tony Falk in. Got it. And the pressure being applied to the legs of dangerous Doug Gilbert. He's got to clamp down on him. And Jarrett calling for Morrell's strap. Now, here they go with that stuff again. Come on, guys. With that leather strap. Now, this oh, is yeah. ridiculous, Lance. We've seen about four weeks of them coming out here Come using on, a belt to beat on their opponents. But, of course, it's always three on one when they bring this off. And Doug being slashed with that belt. And now Jeff threatening the referee as Falk holding down one end and Frank Morrell holding the other. Oh, Here boy. comes too sexy Brian Christopher Morrell up into the ring to tell the referee, didn't you see him cheat? He had his feet up on the rope. You made my guy break it up for the same thing. And as a matter of fact, he's telling the truth because Brian will do that. It kind of tickles his sense of humor. And he uh, nailed the ropes and got the one. Uh-oh, what is this? Oh, Frank's okay, taking the belt fine. off, Lance. You guys are just getting Come ready to on, earn God. yourselves a fine as Brian Christopher comes back in the ring. And he puts the foot to both of them. And now 
Brian feels the shirt up. He's sick and tired of seeing these guys with a belt. And he starts whipping Frank Morrell. Here comes Double J. Look out. Knocks Christopher right off his feet. Oh, boy. Jeff Jarrett comes running out. Jarrett Morrell and Falk. Oh, watch this. On Christopher, goodness gracious, come on. Boy, you can hear that leather strap popping all over the studio as Jeff Jarrett lashing the back. A we Brian need a little help out here to get this guy out of the come ring, on, Jarrett. Guys. He has hey. really gotten power hungry. Here comes Doug Gilbert. They finally got him out of the ring, but I'll tell you, none too soon. We're going to get him as he goes to the ring and ask him about this uh, use of that belt like that. Just totally unnecessary. Has nothing whatsoever to do. Yeah. Jeff, we want to get you. Hey, Jeff. Hey, hey, I wasn't talking to you, Frank. I was talking to Jeff right here. You know what, Lance? Actions speak louder than words. You think you're going to interview me right now? I well, like ju well, just hold on. The Double J, the World Unified Heavyweight Champion, he gets what he wants. I need a little respect around here. I'm going to wrestle first, then you interview me, because I am on cloud nine. You just saw that tape. When I get interviewed, I want you standing up here, because we're above everybody else, Double J and Nitrage are. Yeah, yeah. So you just take a look. Brian Christopher and Doug Gilbert, <laughs> this is just a little sample of what you're going to get when you step into the ring with old Double J and his partner. We got some questions for you, and you're going to, of course, do it in your time. Corey Macklin, Corey. Okay, Lance, we're ready for action. One fall, a 10-minute time limit. 218 pounds from Millington, Tennessee. Charlie Lair. Charlie Lair. His opponent today, 244 pounds from Hendersonville, Tennessee. He is the Unified World Heavyweight Champion. Here is Double J, Jeff Gierre. And in his corner, his entourage, Secretary, chauffeur Tony Falk, and advisor Frank Morrell. Downtown Bruno is a referee for this one. The unified champion Double J in action here on USWA Wrestling. Okay, the bell officially off and running is this match as Double J Jeff Jarrett, unified world heavyweight champion. This, of course, is not a title match. Um, Charlie Laird. Newcomer watching while Jeff Jarrett does his strutting best stuff as they tie it up, collar and elbow again. Referee downtown Bruno. He had his hands full last week with Falcons. Morell and those guys uh, trying to whip him with that belt. They were just whip happy all last week, and uh, he's going to get it. You can tell he is just bubbling over with his power from Dave. Yeah, he is, and he's uh, he's taking this match for granted pretty well here against Charlie Laird. Charlie uh, ready to give him a battle. Yeah, Jeff's still worried about the interview coming up later and uh, trying to direct traffic out here and control everything. Well, I would love to see Charlie Laird nail him on again. He's not expecting him to take his feet right out from under him. Charlie in a standing side headlock. Hanging on to the unified champion. The problem is that anytime anything starts going bad, and Jeff Jarrett was able to get out of it himself, bounce Charlie down. It, the, when things start to go bad, you got Morrell or Falk out there. Exactly. You got three against one just about uh, in every situation. And, of course, Patricia's out here, too, taking notes, the secretary. Uh, I've, I've seen her get involved from time to time, too. So you got a real problem when you're going against Double J. That's how you do it. Uh, He's got the over with. Yeah. Figure four leg lock, one count. There's no submission as yet. Ring the bell. He does call for it. It's going to be a submission hole with a figure four leg lock. It's a punishing hole. It's very, very difficult for a wrestler to continue if uh, your opponent sets up in that, sets up real well. I want to be interviewed on the table. Yeah. Uh, 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 interviewed on the table. Come on, man. Get up here. No, I'm not getting up there with you, Jeff. There's no way to tell. Yeah, I wouldn't get up there with you guys around here. I've seen what you do to people. Brian Christopher and Doug Gilbert, take a look at the Unified World Heavyweight Take a look. Take a look, baby. 
Hey, this is just a sample of what you're going to get. When the, just hold on, whip it will be in a second. This is just going to be a sample. Last week I whipped you. You two boys, you go do it. I'll give the interview right now. This is just a sample. Keep the camera, oh yeah, oh yeah. When Double J and his partner get in the ring with Brian Christopher and Doug Gilbert, show them how it's done, Frank. Show them how it's done. That's one for Brian. That's one for Doug. Another for Brian. Another for right, Doug. Jeff, we're not gonna exactly. stand here for this. We're gonna That's how you do it right no, there. The unified world. Oh yeah, here comes Brian Christopher and Doug Gilbert. We'll be back in a minute. Nobody, but nobody. That's right, we mean nobody. Nobody beats our deals. Nobody beats our deals. No. Well, I must be the nobody they're talking about. Because at Tony Blake Chrysler, every new 96 LHS is discounted $5,000. Not one, not two. Every Tony Pike Chrysler LHS luxury loaded with leather discounted $5,000. So when they say... Nobody but nobody beats our deals. I'm the nobody they're talking about. Yeah, he's the one. Now, you can get with the program at Schaefer Honda. Schaefer Honda just purchased over 25 Accord and Civic program cars driven by American Honda employees. They come with special finance rates and many are still under factory warranty. Just look at this. New style Accords, loaded with power, air, sunroof, only $12,795. Honda Civics with air, only $9,995. When they're gone, they're gone. Accords, $12,795. Civics, $9,995. Get with the program only at Schaefer Honda, 3254 Elvis Presley. Attention homeowners, Mid-South Builders can get you up to $30,000 to fix up your home. Bad credit, no credit, no problem. They'll pay off your old bills and put cash in your pocket. Remodel a kitchen or bath, add a room, put in new heat and air, or improve the exterior of your home with new windows, roof, or vinyl siding. If you live in Memphis or Shelby County, call Mid-South Builders today and take advantage of this special program while funds are still available. Call Mid-South Builders, 366-7282. Dennis Hall's Auto Salvage, home of a million parts. Call or come by 3100 Gill Road and see Dennis Hall's large inventory of both domestic and foreign parts. Bumper-to-bumper -bumper body parts used in rebuilt engines and transmissions. They also specialize in both new and used glass replacement for all makes and models of cars and trucks. For steering column and theft repair, Dennis Hall's guarantees the lowest prices in Memphis. Hi, I'm Dennis Hall. For the best prices in town, come on down. Breaking news doesn't wait for weekends. When your week is ending, theirs is just beginning. You can count on the Action News 5 weekend team for the most complete coverage. Janet Morris and Jovita Moore, Harold Grater on sports, and Ron Childers Pinpoint 5 forecast. On the streets and on top of the big stories every weekend. Action News 5 weekend. Coverage you can count on. Count on. Every day. Gator Bag. American Fireworks. On 3rd Street has the Gator Bag for half price. Where are you going to get me? Take 3rd Street South to the Mississippi State Line. Magic on the Mississippi. The WMC station Star Spangled Celebration. Wednesday, July 3rd at Tom Lee Park. Music on the main stage by Java, Natchez, and the Icebreakers. The biggest fireworks on the Mississippi River. Brought to you by Piggly Wiggly, Miller Beer, and in part by Fleming Fine Furniture. This portion of USWA Championship Wrestling is brought to you by Bill Blake Auto Insurance. Monday night, going to Hollywood. Yes, Love the indeed. sound of that. And what we're talking about, of course, is that the big one, the Expo Center, is located right out there off of I-240 North right section. Now. How dare you cut my interview off? Cut, cut your interview. Me. Listen, you Jeff, I want to tell you. And I'm not putting up here. Look it's today. just that kind of stuff of getting up there and I'm going to stand up here and look stupid. It's Don't easy for you. I am the main event at the big one. Double J, Esther, Esther Mid-South Coliseum was the house that the king built. 
Well, the big one is the house that Double J is going to build. Oh, and what a tag team match it's going to be. Brian Christopher and Doug Gilbert. Right. That's just a sample. What you got last week is what you're going to get this Monday night. I'm going to show you. I'm going to prove to you. I'm going to prove to everyone in the whole world that Double J, hey, Frank, 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 don't worry about them. I'm going to prove that I am not only the greatest singer, not only the greatest entertainer, but the world's greatest wrestler. You're going to find that out. And everybody was talking about who's Double J's partner going to be. Everybody, it's an honor to step in the ring to be a partner with Double J. Well, a close personal friend of mine from the World Wrestling Federation. I've got contacts all over the world. But this guy asked especially, when he found out that we were going to be wrestling Doug Gilbert, and especially you, Brad Christopher, oh, a big grin came over his face like a Cheshire cat. He said, oh, I'm going to find out one thing. I'm going to rub my gold fingers all over his body. I'm going to rub my hands all through that. And that's right, Brian. He's going to find out if you truly are too sexy. <laughs> I can't wait, baby. I can't wait. Lance, don't ever cut my interview off again. Yeah, thanks. Well, don't bother to come back. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back in just a minute. Could a Kia hack it in the real world? To find out, we gave it to Suhan's top car. Hello! Then told him, follow that Toyota. We figured if our Sophia could handle the streets of New York day after day, and started about 3,000 less than a Corolla, then Kia built a pretty tough car. Yep, our Kia handled this little test. As for Suhas, well, we gave him a pretty nice tip. Enough to buy a Kia. Thank you! Lease a new Sophia RS for $149 a month and get up to $800 cash back on a GS model. 99 cents for five nuggets. 99 cents! Did you know Wendy's five-piece chicken nuggets are just 99 cents every day? Excuse me? This price is every day? That's right. Dave is proud to present five crispy chicken nuggets for 99 cents every day. 99 cents is not going to change? This is not like for a week? I don't know what to say. That's a good nugget. What a bargain. Good deal. That's white meat. Ah! Five nuggets for 99 cents. Never seen a chicken deal that good. It's quite possibly the best deal in chicken. It's worth crossing the road for. Look, someone at the Ford dealership across the street is heading into our lot. So maybe the Great American Ford Sales event isn't so great after all. How do I look? More bad news for the competition. Now get blown 2 9 financing or 600 cash back on Ford Taurus or Ford Condor or Lisa Taurus for only $215 a month. We got a customer. I know, it's my mom. She's showing off the new Ford she just bought. Just $215 a month on the number one selling Ford Taurus at your local Ford dealer. By the time I got to work, my makeup called it quits. But corn silk lasts because it's oil-free and oil-absorbing. It does the job beautifully. That natural look of corn silk. It's oil-absorbent, not just oil-free. When pain strikes, go for the Flexol and get going again. In clinical tests, people suffering from pain confirmed that aloe vera-based Flexol penetrates deep to bring fast-acting, long-lasting relief. Flexol. Got tag team action coming up on USWA Championship Wrestling Tag Team Action for our main event today on the USWA. Referee downtown Bruno is in the ring and making their way to the ring area now. A combined weight of 421 pounds from Australia. Here is Ashley Hudson. Hudson and his partner from Australia, the superstar, Bill Dundee! Their opponents today coming in at 461 pounds and a combined weight from Lexington, Tennessee, Dangerous Dog Gilbert! And his partner from Memphis, Tennessee, the USWA heavyweight champion, too sexy, Brian Christopher. Brian Christopher.
Christopher. Tag team action coming up on the USWA. Over now to L and D. Ought to be a heck of a one, I'll tell you. We've got uh, two Aussies. He has really got it all greased uh, up today. He really yeah. is. I tell you what, coming out here with a chair and a little bit of everything else, running around, running his mouth, trying to get Corey to salute the, the uh, flag. Oh man! Well, I tell you who could slow Dundee down. Two guys across the ring: Doug Gilbert, Brian Christopher, Ashley Hudson, starting against dangerous Doug Gilbert. We are underway with our main event of the day. Been looking forward to this one. Ashley Hudson uh, has been in here a couple of three weeks, and Bill Dundee has kind of taken him under his wing as his protege, and Brian Christopher just took his chin and used it for a punching bag, ripped him with that right hand, put him down on the mat. Dangerous Doug hanging on, and here comes Christopher. Double shovel into the rope. Picked up now by the arm, and Christopher turns it over. Dundee outside. Better uh, holler out some advice to him, Dave, right now. Yes, he better, instead of uh, talking to the crowd and wandering up and down the ring apron, he better be doing a little coaching against uh, uh, Ashley Hudson. Hudson says Dundee has been uh, his hero, and uh, he's a for him to be here wrestling. Here they are, tag team partners. Hudson not faring too well at the moment. Doug Gilbert asked the crowd, how about a DDT? The crowd says, yeah, do it. He does. Hudson rolling around on the mat. Dangerous Doug Gilbert with a big right fist. Whoa. When I see Doug Gilbert and Brian Christopher in the corner together, it reminds me so much of Jerry Lawler and Bill Dundee, the type of individual feuds that they have. But when you put them together, you have a massive force and look at Christopher gets stomped in the midsection before the referee can get over and start the count. That broke that one up. Brian tags back to Dangerous Doug. As Gilbert hammers the head of Ashley Hudson. Hudson has really been in there taking it all thus far in the match. Yeah, he has. And uh, Doug Gilbert and Brian Christopher have been tagging out just enough to uh, keep Hudson tied up and in trouble. Doug Gilbert pounding on him. Goodness. Hudson just sort of hanging out on the rope. And now Brian Christopher comes in. He goes to work on Hudson. Hudson's got to be wondering, where's my partner? Yeah, is this a tag team match? And, and how do I or get a there? handicap. That's right. Now Bill Dundee. He's telling the referee, you shouldn't let them do that, Bruno. I can tell you one person that agrees with him, and that's Ashley Hudson. But, but Dundee shoves him back in the ring, says, go ahead, you're doing fine. Now, now don't let him do that to you again. But he makes the immediate tag, and Dundee takes over Brian Christopher. Bill Dundee, they had their problem a little while back, and Christopher catches him on one of those spinning reversals and nails him with a right hand. Tag goes to Dangerous Doug. Gilbert and Christopher now working on the superstar. And it's a different situation when you got Bill Dundee in there and when you've got Ashley Hudson. Dundee, tough and rugged as a single wrestler and as a tag team wrestler. And he lets Doug Gilbert go by. Hudson was going to trip him. Oh, but as he turns around, Dundee is set. He nails him with a right fist. First one, then a second, over to the corner. And they are trying to tie him up over there. Hudson holds down from outside. Dundee over after Brian Christopher. That wasn't a smart move. Now he goes back to work on Doug back in the corner. As the referee is tied up with Brian Christopher, makes it easier for him to double team. And Gilbert's arm snapped off that top rope. Brian Christopher, boy, he is about to bust a vessel right there as he is really hot at Dundee. Ashley Hudson takes over and starts hammering away on Doug Gilbert. This is uh, a second phase, the first phase, so Ashley Hudson gets pounded around by Christopher and Doug Gilbert. And then they were able to take over, and it was all reversed when Dundee took advantage. 
of Doug Gilbert being distracted by Ashley Hudson, and when he turned back around, Dundee laid him out, and he has had him on the run ever since that time. Dundee wraps the arm over the top rope. Ashley Hudson snaps it down. Dundee scoop, slam, tag, and they are keeping it moving. Boy, you're right about Bill's experience as a tag partner. He knows how to do it. It took a little while for Hudson to get in there. It was only a couple of seconds, but the timing was, oh, he's got to cover, though, count of two. If, it, if he had been able to get into the ring a little quicker, Dundee may have had Gilbert set up so that that match could have been won by Hudson and Dundee. But not to be. Hudson over across the way. Dundee in the corner. Lying on the mat is Doug Gilbert. There's Hudson. He springs. But by the time he gets there, he had telegraphed the move far in advance, and Doug Gilbert was gone. Gilbert gets out of it, and he needs to get to the corner to Brian Christopher. Makes the tag, and here comes the sexy. Ripping away with that right hand, first on Hudson, then on Dundee. There's that coconut crunch. He banged the two heads together, and here he does it again as he takes the head of Ashley Hudson, puts it right on that top turnbuckle. Christopher going up the ladder to that top rope. Hudson being held by Gilbert. Drops down and catches him with the leg. Gilbert nails Dundee out on the floor. He goes, and uh, Bill Dundee is out of the ring as he was chased out by Doug Gilbert. Ashley Hudson. Popped by Brian Christopher. And look at Dundee, Bill. Uh, Dave, he's got a, a music stand in his hand and comes in. Here comes Wolfie D. Nails Dundee. Look out down here on the floor near the desk. Right by him. There's Randy Hales out. D.D. Steele out trying to get Wolfie out of the action. Wolfie came out here after Dundee when Dundee in, in the ring. That's a three count on Ashley, Ashley Hudson. Hudson. But meanwhile, outside the ring, they're trying to hold back Wolfie D, keeping him and Dundee apart. Dundee's picked up a chair. Over here, Wolfie D. He goes after Dundee. Dundee tried to crush him with a chair. Randy Hales now and T.D. Steele both trying to hang on to Wolfie. As Dundee goes flying out. Ashley Hudson not far behind. And out of the studio they go as uh, the... Not quite. They're come, uh, come wandering back this way. Well, I tell you what we uh, what we probably need to do is let everything settle down. Let's take a break. Then can we talk to you guys? Give you a moment to take a breather right here. What? Well, what's she doing out here? I have no idea. She's well, been we out here to all day. a break, Dave. I'd like to know what little Miss Pris has been doing out here the whole time during our match. Wouldn't you people like to know what she's been doing out here all day? What you been doing, huh? Double J. Jeff Jarrett. I am his personal secretary, and since he's the busiest man in professional wrestling, he can't be in a hundred places at once. So I have to sit outside and watch your boring match. He can know that I got it me. I'm not impressed, at the very least, and I know my boss will not be impressed either. So you've been taking notes out here, huh? And you're gonna give these notes to Jeff Jarrett, right? Well, you know what Jeff Jarrett did last week out here? We just got through seeing it a few minutes ago. He had a belt, and he put it across this man's back, and then he put it across my back. So I'll tell you what. I got a little something, a little something you need to write down and take back to Jeff Jarrett. A little message for him. Hey, Doug, go out there and see if somebody's got a belt. No way. No, hold on. Come on. No, listen, listen, Dave. Listen, Dave, no. Hey, listen. now double J trying to get even for what happened a week ago 
And Double J, Frank Morrell, Tony Falk, the secretary, all out of here. And Brian and Doug have cleared out the I don't studio. Like, I don't like to see uh, some of that stuff happen right here in the studio, but I got to tell you, if anybody deserved it, Double J and his entourage certainly did. Oh. <laughs> All the fans are volunteering belts for the cause. Oh, my goodness. We do need to take a break. Let's do that. We'll check time. We'll be back with you here in just a moment. Yep. Take your food dollar to the max with Maxi Foods. Now with two locations to serve you better. Winchester at Mill Branch and Third at Rains. Come in for these maximum food buys. Pepsi six pack, 99 cents. Kraft barbecue sauce, 59 cents. Hyde Park tomato sauce, 10 cans for a dollar. And U.S. Choice ribeye steak, 4 dollars a pound. Enjoy maximum quality at a minimum price. Visit Maxi Foods at either location. 1665 Winchester at Mill Branch or 4082 South Third at Rains. Cater Bag. American Fireworks. And Bullfrog Corner has the Cater Bag for half price. Where are you going to get me? Take Elvis Presley Boulevard south to Bullfrog Corner. It's the grand finale. Your last chance. The final week of Fleming Pond Furniture's 50th anniversary celebration. We've got the largest selection and the biggest savings in the whole Mid-South. Plus, this final week, we're giving away $2,000 of free furniture every weekday. And Saturday, someone will drive away in this brand new coming in pipe Toyota Camry. It's your last chance. Big storewide savings, special terms, free furniture daily, and win a free car. It's the grand finale of Fleming Fine Furniture's 50th anniversary. Don't miss it. This is the big one. It's your Tri-State Pontiac Dealers Grand Slam Sales Spectacular. And here's one of our heavy hitters, Pontiac Grand Am GT. Priced thousands less than Camry and Accord. A 150 horse twin cam engine, dual airbags, anti-lock brakes standard, and with our just announced 2.9% Pontiac Smart Drive. It's a hit, and it's yours for just $2.19 a month with $5.99 down. Visit your Tri-State Pontiac dealer during the Grand Am Grand Slam Sales Spectacular. Drive one home and have a ball. Third Rock's Alien Guide to Emotional Release. Come on, Sally. I know you're in a lot of pain, but holding it in isn't going to do you any good. You've got to let it out. Come on, open up. <laughs> Third Rock moves to Sunday after the Olympics on NBC. That really helps. <laughs> Monday night, it will be an array of bouts that I know each and every one of them you're going to enjoy. And where, when USWA goes Hollywood, one of the people that will be there we haven't seen in some time, Coco Beware. And Coco will be in there against Tony Anthony, the dirty white boy. Coco. Well, you see, Lance Russell, let me tell you one thing. You see, I understand that we're in a new building. And I couldn't wait to break the ice in that new building. And everybody's been asking, where's the Birdman been? Well, you see, the Birdman has been all over the world. The Birdman is collecting belts, Lance Russell. Over in Singapore, over in Malaysia, over in Russia. I've been collecting belts, especially the wrestlers that don't deserve it. Hadn't paid their dues. And so now, I come today to wrestle, but I can't find a champion here. So that means I got to start from the bottom of the barrel. And I guess the dirty white boy is the bottom of the barrel. He's a pretty tough guy. Well, Lance Russell, you let me decide on that. You just listen to me for a minute. You understand that? But I'm telling everybody, I'm making a special challenge. Beware. Coco, beware. Because I guarantee you, I'm going to take those belts especially the ones that didn't pay their dues in the wrestling business. Okay, Coco beware, and he'll be there against the dirty white boy. Like to remind you again of the location of the big one, the Expo Center. If uh, we can, let's pop that map up there and show you that as you're coming in, what you want to do is get on the north leg of I-240. Uh, that's the one that goes up uh, to the north side of the city, and when you come to exit five, that'll be Hollywood, 
You just descend down the exit, and right there is where the building is. It is so easy to get to. The building's within sight of the expressway. You can see it when you get off. Some folks, long time uh, people around here will remember it. It's, it originally was the old Treasury, Treasury building, building many times right. ago. Undergone, of course, a total renovation. Quite a place, the big one on uh, exit 5 Hollywood off of I-240 North. Yes, sir. The doors will be opening at 6 o'clock. The food court will have the television replay of this wrestling show in there. The Nunnery Brothers Band will be out there. And you are going to be having a fireworks giveaway in preparation for the July 4th. And what a card it is indeed. The opening match is going to be a mystery opponent in there against Miss Texas followed by a USWA tag team title contender match when the Moon Dogs go against Brickhouse Brown and Reggie B. Fine. Special challenge match. The Birdman Coco beware. He doesn't think he's too tough, but he better get ready for Tony Anthony, the dirty white boy. I haven't seen him in a while, but he'll be back in action. And then after that, the USWA tag team titles on the line. Bart Sawyer, Flex Cabana are the champions. Jerry the King Lawler, superstar Bill Dundee, as Lance said earlier, arguably one of the toughest tag teams in the history of wrestling. They're going to be trying to take the belts away from the champions Monday night. Then a moon dog battle royal. Now this means that the ring is going to be filled up with chairs and boards and trash cans and havoc. You can count on it with that moon dog battle royal taking place. Non-sanctioned match, no referee in the ring. Superstar Bill Dundee will be going against Wolfie D, and you heard right, no referee in the non-sanctioned match. And the final match is going to be Too Sexy Brian Christopher, Dangerous Doug Gilbert teaming up to go against the unified world heavyweight champion, Double J Jeff Jarrett, and his special partner from the WWF, will be gold dust and what about that will be you've got it lower prices at the admission gate lower prices on the parking it's all out at the big one the expo center dave and brian christopher duck gilbert back again you guys have got quite a collection of belts here i'll say that hey dave we sure do but that's not what we're out here wanting to talk about now see jeff jarrett I don't know what you thought if you thought it was going to scare Dangerous Doug and Too Sexy Brian Christopher. If it was going to scare us and make us just start shaking and run out of town or what. But Dave Brown, I've been doing my homework. I have a little clip that I'd like you to show right now if you could. If you give them a roll of clip that I got. Okay, we got that. Took that's gold dust right there and see ever since he has popped on the scene in the WWF I've seen him the first time and Jeff Jarrett you showed every one of these people over here in this audience every single person in TV land what you're really about you're not the golden boy you're not the one that was supposed to be you're supposed to be the real bad guy that come to the top you're nothing but a yellow belly dog and you went to your friends in the WWF and you got gold dust now Brian what is gonna happen to gold dust this Monday night you know Dave Dave, Doug, I can't wait. This is a match that every, it's, it's like a dream match. This is a match come true because I've been wanting to get my hands on Jeff Jarrett and he's been wanting to get his hands on us. Well, Jeff, you've gone out and you've gotten gold dust and I don't really know what this gold dust is all about and he's claiming that gold dust is gonna come down there and find out if I'm really too sexy. Huh? That's what he said. Gold dust is a man, correct? Supposed to be a man. He comes out there rubbing all over his body, and then he likes to rub all over his opponents. And not too long ago, I saw him lay somebody down, and then he put his lips on their lips. Now I got something to tell you, gold dust. I don't go for that kind of stuff. A man kissing a man is not something that I can do. I hate that kind of crap. But this week, I'll tell you, I found out something. I found out that these fans will more than gladly throw us a belt or two if we need it. So this week, if we call for the belts, they know what to do. We, we, so got, we got to take a break here. We got to take a break. I hear what you're saying. Monday night at the big one. We'll be back in just a moment.
gamble with your car insurance. Make the sure bet on a winning hand from the hometown boys at Bill Blake. They're dealing straight with savings up to 50% on your car insurance. For low monthly payments on your car insurance, call Bill Blake at 948-5551 or 346-5551. They'll work with you. Ninety-nine cents for five nuggets. Ninety-nine cents. Did you know Wendy's five-piece chicken nuggets are just ninety-nine cents every day? Excuse me. This price is every day. That's right. Dave is proud to present five crispy chicken nuggets for ninety-nine cents every day. Ninety-nine cents is not going to change. This is not like for a week. I don't know what to say. That's a good nugget. What a bargain. Good deal. What? That's white meat. Five nuggets for 99 cents. Never seen a chicken deal that good. It's quite possibly the best deal in chicken. It's worth crossing the road for. Want to really turn heads this summer? Start with Sunion or new Sunion for men. Natural looking highlights you control. New conditioners for a silkier shine. See what we mean? Sunion, highlights that get you noticed. How quick can you protect yourself from the sun? This quick with Bullfrog Quick Gel. Quick Gel goes on quick, leaves no residue, and protects all day in and out of the water. Get Bullfrog Quick Gel, the ultimate waterproof sunblock. It's the grand finale. Your last chance. The final week of Fleming Pond Furniture's 50th anniversary celebration. We've got the largest selection and the biggest savings in the whole Mid-South. Plus, this final week, we're giving away $2,000 of free furniture every weekday. And Saturday, someone will drive away in this brand new coming in pipe Toyota Camry. It's your last chance. Big storewide savings, special terms, free furniture daily, and win a free car. It's the grand finale of Fleming Pond Furniture's 50th anniversary. Don't miss it. This is the big one. Read the date on there, Russell. Read the date on that. This says Monday, October the 4th, 1976, That's Billy. That's right. And whose picture's on it? Jerry Lawler's. And who's it in the other side? Bill Dundee. Where was you, Wolfie D? I'll tell you was. You was like all the rest of them fans. You was buying a ticket to watch Lawler and watch Dundee. Now you're wrestling your hero. Well, let me tell you something, punk. You dress like a basketball player, and that's a tall man's sport, and I hate basketball. I'm going to punch your brains out, because I hate you. I hate everything you stand for, and I'm going to beat you up at Hollywood. We got to go and get out of here. Okay, fine. Well, you see him out there Monday. That's all right. David, we got to get out of here. Yes, sir. Time is up. And, well, we're out of it in five minutes. We got to say uh, Corey Macklin for Corey and for Dave. Lance Russell saying bye-bye for a final time. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of USWA Championship Wrestling. Only Fireworks City has the main event assortment, a $25 value for only $7.50. That's a 70% discount. For real fireworks savings, follow me to Fireworks City. Levy Auto Parts wants you to know before you go. Levy is your place to shop for quality used auto parts. Compare our prices to the competition. Right now, Levy is offering a special on select auto parts, such as rotors, distributors, wiper motors, water pumps, oil pans, and various other accessories. With a parts exchange,